Uh, bonjour, my internet friends. My name is John, and in this video, I will show you how you can create a Jamstack powered website in under five minutes. Yes, and I do mean under five minutes. Now, it doesn't make a difference if you're a C sharp developer, you know, close to zero JavaScript or React. It doesn't make a difference in this video. No programming experience is required whatsoever. So that's good news. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you a tool. The tool is called Stackbit. Now Stackbit is a website generator. You can pick from a number of themes and you can pick from a number of different CMSs and static site generators. And it's gonna create you a cool website. And the amazing thing is, is this would be a production ready website. You can put it in front of millions of people and paying the right amount of money from all these providers, it would scale. And for me, this is quite amazing. The first time I saw Stackbit, if I'm honest, I was like, Poof. my head was generally blown. It doesn't really happen that much when I see some products. However, think about this. Back in the day when I started building websites, it used to take me about a week to create a dev environment, a staging environment, and all that sort of stuff. Within Stackbit, I've actually managed to do it in under 15 minutes before. So that's a week's worth of effort being condensed into 15 minutes. So it's pretty amazing. And this is the reason why I think people watching this should be interested in the Jamstack because this sort of productivity is only available using this type of technology. So if you haven't seen me before, my name is John, as I said, hello. Um, if you want to be an absolute legend, it's YouTube. You know, hit that subscribe button. I do weekly YouTube videos on development, productivity, JavaScript, all that sort of good stuff. So hit subscribe. Assuming that you have done that, Let's crack on and install this Jamstack website. Okay, so let's give this a go. Challenge is starting now. One website in under five minutes. So as you can see, I've gone to the Google and I've typed in Stackbit, as you can see right here. Ooh. Now, if I click on the website at the top right here, I've got this sign in button. Now, after I click sign in, I've got the option to sign in with another account. I'm gonna use my Google account because it's a little bit quicker. So as you can see, I've got no projects and I'm going to build my first project. So clicking on here, you can see that I have got a number of themes to select from. Now, I won't go through all of them here. I'll use the stars kit because I've only got five minutes, but there's loads of good stuff in here. Now, if I do a live preview, we can have a look at that in a bit while things are loading. So this is the interesting bit about Stackbit. So when we're creating Jamstack websites, a huge part of it is the static site generator. And from Stackbit, we can choose if we use Jekyll, Hugo, or Gatsby. So Gatsby is really cool because it allows us to use a different type of headless CMS. So when it comes to headless CMSs, we have API-based headless CMSs, and we have Git-based. So when things are Git-based, it basically means we're gonna have a markdown file within our GitHub repository. And when you're updating things in the CMS, all you're doing is committing and updating that repository. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm actually gonna create something using Next.js because Next is the most popular static site generator right now. And I'm gonna change this to use Contentful CMS. And as you can see, I've hooked up to GitHub and I've got my organization here because I signed in. Now I'm gonna click Create Site and then off it goes, Kindly Warming. Now let's have a look at the website we're about to create. And this is the theme that Stackbit is creating for us. So as you can see, we've got a hero at the top. We've got some features. We've got this card section and we've got the CTA at the bottom and a bit of a menu at the top. We can click about it. But as you can see, we're gonna basically get this website absolutely free and all the infrastructure or the CMS, all that configuration is gonna be done for us just going and following that process that I've just shown you. Now, as you can see here, we're uploading our content to the CMS. So we're creating stuff. So things are going nice. Now let's go back to the Stackbit website. And let's have a look at some of the stuff. So as you can see, as you create new projects, we have loads of things going on here. So if I created a new project, what I can do is now create a personal website Look at this, beautiful. Look, look how happy she is. Why would I not want to create a website with someone looking that happy? So when I click on this, I can now choose to create a, a website using Gatsby as the static site generator. 
when I click change, you can see that I've got access to all of these CMSs. So I'm actually going to go for a forestry CMS. I'm going to connect it. And again, they've got all this um, sign up with GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket. So we can do GitHub. Clicking in our GitHub, sign me up, is going to hook everything up and all the configuration for you. Perfect. I'm in forestry. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm a developer. I'm doing my hobby website. And then let's complete my registration. Let's then look back at Stackbit. Close that off. Oh, man, my connect didn't work. Authorize. Job done. Create site. So now we're creating two Jamstack websites at the same time, all with zero coding. And there we go. Under five minutes, we have our website in content full using Next.js created. So now let's launch Stackbit and have a look. So this is the Stackbit editor. From here, you can use this as a CMS. Now this is very Stackbit specific. So from here, I can click on things. I'm able to update my title, my description. So I quite like this editor. I think it's quite cool. It costs about five pounds a month to have this one if you want to. So it's well worth looking at. As I said, I've been working with the guys from Stackbit to help them develop some features. It's a good bunch of guys. The team's really passionate about all this sort of stuff. So I recommend you having a look. Now, as you can see right there, I clicked on this settings tab right up here. And from here, I've got my content full connected, my Netlify as my infrastructure and my GitHub. Now, if I click on open, what will happen is now my website that we've created will open in Contentful. And what we'll see in front of us is our Contentful CMS. And from here, you can see that we've got all the content. So say I could filter by advanced page. From here, I can get access to my home page. There we go. From my home page, I can start looking at all the different blocks and all the different components that make up my website. So clicking on features, you can see that I can start adding and updating features. Now, as you can see within what two minutes, three minutes, just by hooking up a GitHub account, I've been able to create a infrastructure, a CMS, and I've got a static um, website, all with pretty much no knowledge, really simple. And if I go back to stack bit now, oh no, my builds failed, I wonder why. But you can see how you can start building your Jamstack powered websites or using Stackbit. And this is really cool. So if you're a C Sharp developer, JavaScript developer, it doesn't make a difference because you can start experimenting with these CMSs. And what I challenge you to do is to sign up to Stackbit. It is absolutely free. Come along, do this new import, new project, have a look through all these different themes. There's loads here. Create your website. Now, the thing that I haven't talked about is say we have the DIY theme. Stackbit. We can go here and as you can see, all of the themes are open source. So we can go in here, we can start having a look at our components. As you can see, all the components are here, all the HTML. So you can have a look at how these websites are powered, how they're structured. So you really do have all the code, you have the CMS configuration for you. So there really is no excuse. As I said, under five minutes, we have created a website and I've shown you how you can experiment with six different CMSs. Now, what I'll do in later videos is probably show you how to set things up using Netlify um, and actually sort of doing some coding and making some more advanced features. However, as you can see, setting things up with Stackbit and getting started with the GM stack is really cool. And as we went through in the last video, all those benefits of say things like atomic deployments, um, the static site generation. So we're using the edge network, funky edge network. So our website's really quick because it's generated and it's all done in static HTML. We've got all that benefits of um, decoupled CMS and our code. As you can see, we've got all these really cool benefits. It's all free. I haven't had to pay any money whatsoever. So I recommend you give it a try because within an hour, you're going to be doing something new and interesting. And that's the whole point of these series is for you to learn something new. Anyway, what do you think? Are you amazed that we've created a whole website with infrastructure setting up with source control and a CMS in under five minutes? And not only one CMS, we had the option to create six CMSs and each process is about the same. It's about five minutes. For me, this is a complete game changer when it comes to learning Jamstack. It's just amazing if, yeah, as I said, 
from where I've come in my IT career of stuff like this used to take me a week, being able to click a few buttons and it happens in like two, three minutes, it's just amazing for me. And there we have it. That brings us to the end of another episode. So how did you find that? Were you like me and did it blow your mind a little bit about how much you could do so quickly with just so little effort? So the intention of this video is just to get you experimenting with the Jamstack. As I said, in later episodes, we're gonna go into things in more detail and we're gonna build some cooler things. But for now, I've given you enough to play with for a week at least. Anyway, I am hoping you like this video and you're interested in web development. Again, if you want to be an absolute legend, hit that subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. It takes no effort and you'll get to see these types of videos. It's not gonna hurt you, so why not? If you want to do me a solid, don't forget to hit that like button. Liking things just basically tricks YouTube into showing more videos. And again, I would very much appreciate that. Otherwise, I hope you found some value from this video as always. I hope you have an amazing day and happy coding.